Last week, I was joined by Chris Brown, RFID subject matter expert with TSC Printronics, and he helped me demonstrate how to calibrate the media and the RFID settings for the Printronics T4000 thermal transfer printer. Well, today I have some added footage which shows Chris going in detail on how to actually set up and print a label through Bartender Label Software. So stay tuned, because we're about to get into it. So we have theoretically calibrated the media and done the RFID calibrations, but let's show it in actual use here. The proof is in the pudding. Today, I'm going to show you very quickly printing and encoding a label with Bartender Label Software. I tend to use that. You could also use Nice Label, CodeSoft, Loftware, any of the other packages. So I'm going to start up Bartender. And when I first start it up, it's going to give me a little wizard. I just need to select my correct printer. So I need to put in the label dimensions here. In this particular case, the label media is about 3.5 inches and the label height is about 1.65 inches. It should be good enough for our purposes today. I'm going to finish. I have my bartender label design area. The first thing I like to do is just put down some printable object and do a print test. And we have successful print. That simple. Now, I also want to encode my tags. So in Bartender, I'm going to select an RFID object. I will use EPC Gen 2. I will pretend that I'm going to encode an SG1096, which is a fairly common bread and butter encoding. I will use the bartender basic data values as default, but I will set up the final number to serialize. This is not a bartender tutorial, but I need to go through this. so that we can demonstrate the printer actually printing and encoding. I'm also going to name this serial number. I'll call it serial SER, OK. And if I go back to my barcode object, I'm going to link it to that same value. When I click close here, that barcode should switch to the value of 1. Boom, there it is. Now let us print and encode and serialize. Let's go with 10 labels so that you can get a good idea of the print and encode speed of the printer. You will notice there will not be back feed between the labels. You will see a little back feed at the beginning and at the end of the job, but that only has to do with how the printer is configured to set up the labels after the print job. You can get rid of that if you want, but the way the printer is set up now, it is in tear-off mode. That means after a print job, the printer lines up the label stock with the tear bar. So here we have 10 labels, printing, encoding, and serializing. Boom. So not only did we get the printer calibrated for both the regular non-RFID calibration and the RFID calibration, we did all that very, very quickly and easily with the wizard, but you can see how easy it is to actually print and encode the labels. Now the next step is, well, did we really encode those labels? Either you could take a reader, an external reader that you might have, and you could verify the encodings on these, but in a pinch, you can use the radio in the printer to verify the encoding. So we will show you that very quickly. 
So now we want to validate, we want to use the printer as a reader in case you don't have a reader handy. So we can use the printer to verify what we've actually encoded. The printer is online, but I'm going to take it offline with the green pause button. Go to settings. I can scroll left or right, up or down here. I'm going to scroll until I select RFID. Then I'm going to scroll down to diagnostics. And you will see the first option under diagnostics is read tag. I scroll to the right to select that. We have the little lightning bolt to run the read tag function. Now what I've done here is I've backed up the tags and I have positioned a particular tag that I want to read so that the inlay loop, the, the encoding part of the inlay, is underneath my printer's encoding antenna. Doesn't need to be that exact, I can move it back and forth a little bit. So I've positioned tag number nine. If you remember, we did a serial number sequence, one to ten, here is seven, eight, and positioned under the encoding antenna is number nine. So we want to see a number nine in there. Also, if you remember from Bartender, we did an SG1096. Well, the values that are gonna show up here on the screen will be hexadecimal, and the first two digits in hexadecimal for an SG1096 should be three zero, and the last digit that shows up here should be the number nine for our particular serial number. So I press enter to execute the read tag function. Tells me it's reading the tag. It flashes up green. I see three zero at the beginning and there was number nine right at the end. So there you have it. An example of how to set up and print and encode RFID labels with the Printronics T4000. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple, so make sure you drop some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want 